What's up everyone, it is TGB here. Today I decided I wanted to start a series on the mental aspect of poker. I think the mental game is one of the most underrated parts of your poker game. I think it's really important to work on it, to think about that as part of your play. I don't really think it's like a separate thing. I think it's very important to your game. So let's just jump right in. So the first thing I think is important with your mental game is thinking about the long-term aspects of poker. And this can apply to any field, really. But I really think it's important for your mental game of poker to orient yourself in the long-term space. I like to call it future-oriented thinking. Basically, the thought is that, you know, when you run your kings into someone's aces, you know that you're going to be on the other end of that in the future right like you're gonna run your kings into someone's aces just as often as you're getting your aces in against kings and so if you use that as your backing you get a lot less upset about coolers because you know you're gonna be on the positive end of them later going along with that I think it's important to have a neutral expectation on runouts what I mean by that is this you'll see a lot of players who have very negative perceptions of runouts. So these are the type of players you hear talking about how they always get sucked out on the river or the opponent's card always comes or, you know, you hear it all the time about this really negative expectation on runouts. And I think it's one of the leading indicators for me personally that I might have a mental game leak is when I do start getting into that mindset. You're going to get sucked out on rivers sometimes. It happens. It's the way poker works. Similarly, you're going to suck out on rivers, going back to that future-oriented thinking. That's all going to just even out in the end. But if your mental game is weak, then you're going to make mistakes not related to those situations. And I think that when you have that type of situation where you can hear yourself, your self-thought being that negative expectation on runouts, it's a sign that there's probably a leak in your mental game. There's another type of mental game leak where you can have two positive expectations on runouts. I actually had a situation last night where I hit a river card and I was basically, I had won the tournament and I was celebrating. I was like, yeah, if that river card didn't hit, like, man, like, I would have been so shocked. Like, we're just hitting everything. And it was true. We were hitting everything. Uh, last night, we've been hitting everything over the course of the last couple of weeks. But it's important, even, like, saying that cued me in that, hey, you need to watch your mental game. You should have a neutral expectation of runouts, not a positive expectation, not a negative expectation. A neutral expectation of runouts is very important. Going along with that, when I first started playing seriously, and I was playing probably 12 tables or so, I was 12 tabling sit and goes at the time, and what I would do is I would actually stack the tables. Uh, they weren't tiled on the screen, it was just one on top of another, and the table would pop up when it was my turn to act. What happened is when I got in all-in situations, a lot of times I wouldn't even see the runout because I would have a new table to make a decision on. So I would go all-in with, say, ace-jack, and maybe I didn't even see that I got called or I saw that I get called, but then I got flipped to another table. And so I wouldn't even see the runouts. So I would have no idea of if my ace-jack ran into aces and we just you know lost, or if my ace-jack ran into ace-10 and you know he spiked a 10 on the river and so i think that really helps prepare me to just not really care that much about the runouts i mean obviously we want to win but i'm very neutral for the most part about if we get sucked out on or if we suck out or what the runout looks like another thing that's important is to check your mental state you can check your mental state at various spots throughout the session as well as at the end or beginning of a session a lot of times things that happen on or off the felt can throw our mental game out of whack and so it's important for us to keep that in mind. You should have like a word or phrase or phrases that allow you to kind of figure out where you're at. For example, if I start negatively expecting runouts, I know that there's something wrong with my mental game. Now when I go to fix that, it's not necessarily like just a, oh, I can just, I'm negatively expecting runouts, let me just neutrally expect runouts, there's usually something in off the felt situations or maybe you've just been running bad for a lot, of, a lot of time and you need to take care of your mental game off the felt. But you should have some checks to see where your mental state's at and you should be doing that throughout your sessions. 
appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video on the mental game. Uh, I would appreciate any feedback, comments. Also, I'm going to be doing a few videos on this, so if there's any topic you want me to specifically cover, please let me know that below. As always, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the felt.